Hello and welcome back to Jim Johnston Reviews the World and this is another episode of Cook It and Eat It. Now folks at home, just wondering, go ahead and talk to your phone, your iPad, your computer, your TV, talk back to it like we're having a conversation. Now folks, do you ever suffer from a little case of the mundanes? A little case of the mundanes? Maybe a little bit of the Mondays, you know? Dog ate a hole in your shoelaces. Coffee pot blew up, shower was cold as a box of old rocks, you know, this, that, and the other. And you know what? Sometimes some of us working folks, we just don't have time to sit down in the morning for a three, four, five, or even six course fancy breakfast. That fancy breakfast is another show. Today, we're going to show you how to get all those nutrients, all those vitamins and minerals you need, all that caffeine you need to get your day going right, strong, but you can bust through that case of the mundanes, kick some serious butt all day long, make a field goal. Wait, what we're doing today, we're making cafe mocha overnight oats. One more time, cafe mocha overnight oats. So we're going to start with about a cup and a quarter of old fashioned rolled oats, you can use the insta dried instant oats too. I always, I just like the texture better of the old fashioned. Yeah, that's about a cup and a quarter. This is actually a little over a cup, but I measured it one day and it's about a cup and a quarter. That's just, this is the size cup I use for all my overnight oats. Then you're gonna want about a half scoop of a protein powder. And that's assuming that the serving size of your protein powder is in fact one scoop. If it's a two scoop serving size, go ahead and put a full scoop in. So you want a half serving of protein powder, chocolate protein powder in this case. And then just a pinch of three shakes of ground ginger. And this is for the uh, digestive aids and health benefits of ginger. Uh, we're gonna go in with a pinch of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper A plays really well with chocolate and B, it has health benefits as well. Most people uh, don't really know about it, but it's, again, it's good for your digestion and it has other health benefits for your, your stomach and intestine, all that stuff as well. Then for taste, we're gonna add some cinnamon. These are just pinches. I'd say these are probably at the most quarter teaspoons. We're going to add what will probably be a splash of imitation vanilla. You know, I buy this because it's a buck. You know, the real good vanilla extracts, they're like eight, eight dollars on up. So I buy this because it's a buck. So I use more of it, but it gets the job done. So this would probably be a nice healthy teaspoons worth of vanilla flavoring, I guess you would call that. And then I'm gonna put in this one today, medium roast Folgers instant coffee. Uh, if you're making it at home and you have instant coffee, uh, not in the little packages, I would suggest putting in a half tablespoon to a full tablespoon, depending upon how much of a coffee person you are. I'm not really that much of a coffee person. Then the other thing here to make this wonderful and to provide nutrition, because of the powdered milks and such, we're gonna put in one packet of cocoa mix. This is going to make the end product taste phenomenal also. It's the Folgers and the Swiss Miss is what really makes it cafe mocha overnight oats as opposed to any other kind. And then for me, I'm just gonna go in with one nice big spoonful of stevia sweetener because they uh, consider that to be about two to three times as much sweetening as standard sugar. I definitely recommend stevia to everyone unless you have some type of a uh, allergy to it. it. Saves you a ton of calories. So I really, I really recommend stevia. I haven't talked about it much on the channel, but I really recommend it. Much healthier for you than standard sugar. Because we're doing cafe mocha today, we're gonna go with a full one of these of milk and a half one of water. So a full cup. I suggest just doing it based on a, a measuring cup cup. A full cup of this milk and again it's going through the dry so it will maybe fill up and you gotta give it a minute to go back down about a half cup of the water and it's nice to make this up in some little jars if you have them there is a pro tip a lot of people don't think about the glass jar to make anything really stir it agitate it use a plastic spoon or a rubber spoon don't use metal utensils in glass jars, especially in repurposed glass jars like this one because uh, you might end up putting that metal utensil through the sidewall We'll stir that in a minute. Last thing, you gotta add some salt to this, even with the, so we'll go with that much, probably a little over a half teaspoon, and that is pink sea salt. I'm gonna put just another little pinch, there we go. Let me stir this up and get it all incorporated, and we'll be back to show you uh, how it looks when it's ready to go in the fridge. All right, so there we have our well-mixed, well-incorporated cafe mocha overnight oats. And all these, uh, you don't have to worry about getting all the protein powder and hot chocolate powder incorporated. That will all uh, dissolve through the night. And you want to give this a good stir in the morning before you eat it. And, uh, you know, at least let this go overnight. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate, a pinch of that cayenne coming through. Just the right amount of salt. That's going to be good. I like to always let overnight oats actually soak overnight overnight. 
So I like to let them go at least two nights before I eat them. Uh, maybe that's because the uh, I like to use the old-fashioned oats. I just find they're better on day two, day three, day four, even day five. So that's it, folks. I'm not going to do a full taste test on this because I want to eat these when I eat them and not worry about my camera first thing in the morning. Put a little piece of saran wrap over top because this is a repurposed jar, not a full-on mason jar. And then the lid, nice and tight. And there you have it, folks. Cafe Mocha overnight oats so that's your whole breakfast everything you need to get you going up through the day all the way till lunch all in one pre-made ready to go glass jar enjoy your cafe mocha overnight oats we'll see you next time folks bye bye